In today's video, we're going to cover the hottest SMMA niches for your business in 2020 and beyond. So stay tuned, we got a good one for you. Alright, welcome back everybody and thank you for watching. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell over there in the bottom right hand corner so you can get updated with our newest videos, trainings, resources, and giveaways we do every single week here at my channel. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of today's video and we'll tell you how to get access to our free social media marketing agency course. So what exactly is a niche and why should you pursue a specific niche in 2020? Basically guys, a niche is just narrowing down the type of business or industry that you plan to go after with regard regards to what types of clients you're going to take on with your agency. So for example, you have the auto industry, you have attorneys, you have doctors, you have restaurants and e-commerce. There's so many different industries and different niches or niches out there, however you want to pronounce it. And real quick, just in the comments below, how do you say, is it niche? So number one, or do you say niche? Number two, I personally say niche. I'd love to see what you guys say also. But guys, the point of picking a niche is so that way you can become an expert within that specific industry. It's much easier to become an expert in one industry than to become an expert in every single industry out there. And why is that? Well, every time you go into a specific niche, you actually have to learn a lot about how that business operates, their customers, what their profit margins look like, what it takes for one of their businesses to be successful, what types of marketing campaigns campaigns are working, all of those different factors go into understanding a niche. And the more niches you take on, the more information you're going to have to find out, which means it's going to take you a lot longer to become an expert. The good thing about becoming an expert in a niche is because you can actually get paid more money to do the same job because you are an expert at doing it. And you're going to guarantee pretty much better results for people in that niche. So to sum it all up, it makes it a lot easier to scale your business in the beginning if you focus on one or even two niches at the very most, and then scale as your business scale. So meaning if your business is growing and you're taking on more revenue and you have, you know, several, maybe 10, 20 clients, then it's time where you can actually start looking into other industries. But even still, you should be careful about taking on way too many because if you find yourself in an industry or a niche that's more complicated and you don't really understand it, you're probably not going to do that great for the client. So you want to make sure that you scale slowly and take on new niches slowly as your business grows. Now guys, we only have time in this video to cover a few niches. We're going to cover about about five in this video, but we actually made a list of about 10 to 15. So if you want to see the full list, make sure to click the link below in the description. It'll say blog right next to it. And you can head on over there and check out the rest of our list. So one of the most popular niches I want to talk about, and it's one that's doing really, really well with online marketing is the fitness niche. This consists of things like gyms, yoga studios, CrossFit places, kickboxing or boxing studios, all kinds of different areas where people can basically work out. So why is this niche so profitable? Basically because people are very very image conscious, meaning that they care about the way they look. And that trend has been growing over the last few years. And not only that, diet programs and the way that people eat is also becoming a very popular trend because people are noticing that when they eat healthier, they live a more happy and healthy and comfortable life. And finally, there's a bunch of new diet programs and people are really, really conscious about the way that they eat. So this combined with the desire to work out and feel better about your life has really boosted the industry. So how should you market? to fitness style businesses. Well, a great way that I've seen is going to be local SEO, obviously, right? Because a lot of these gyms are only in a local area. There are some fitness industries and products out there that can go way larger than a local audience, but a lot of the gyms and personal trainers, they're focusing on a local audience. That being said, Facebook, Instagram, SEO, local SEO is a great way to market these businesses online. And the great thing is they have really, really cool lead magnets or offers that they can do. A lot of people do free uh, trials to the gym or a free one-time class or some kind of offer that's going to get the person in the gym to see if they actually like the experience or not. Number two is going to be the real estate industry. So we're talking about real estate agencies, brokers, home buyers and renovators, apartments or condominiums, all kinds of different ways for you to get involved in this niche. So why is this niche so profitable? Well, over the last several years, real estate in the entire industry has been flooding into digital marketing as a marketing practice for their business. And the reason why is because for some reason, it took real estate agencies a very long time to get on board with digital marketing. Obviously, they realized the importance, so now they're coming into the market and they're looking for agencies just like you. And not only that, their commissions are really, really good. If you find an agency that's working really well and they're doing a lot of 
homes, either buying or selling, they probably have the budget to spend several thousands each month. So quick tip, if you are going to go into the real estate niche, I do recommend looking for real estate teams. A real estate team is usually an established type of real estate business, and they usually have several agents working underneath one main business owner, right? So in my opinion, that would be the most easy and profitable way to start building up your agency within the real estate niche. So how can you market for the real estate niche? Well, one really great way is obviously just to remarket listings that you have on your website. Any traffic that is being driven to these types of sites, you can remarket to those audiences on Facebook and Instagram. Email marketing is also another great way to stay in touch with people who are interested in buying or selling a home and having some really great automations or drip campaigns geared towards either buyers or sellers is a great way to stay in their ear. And obviously, video content is king in the real estate industry. If you don't have great video walkthroughs of homes or images of homes for people to look at, they're probably not gonna buy the homes that you have for sale. So make sure that video content and images are taken very seriously. Lastly, local branding here is key. So making sure that you have a consistent evergreen campaign set up where they're constantly blasting this real estate agent's name out in the local area and surrounding areas is going to be super beneficial because really when it comes down to it, if someone's looking to buy a home or sell a home and they know they need a real estate agent to do it, it's going to come down to the agent that they are most familiar with, right? So making sure that you're really keeping the brand out in the local area is going to be important. So have you thought already about what types of niches or niche you're going to try to approach with your agency? If so, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to see what niches you guys are targeting. Number three is going to be legal services or attorneys. So the reason these are so profitable is pretty apparent. Most of you are already very familiar that attorneys make a lot of money. Now, this doesn't always necessarily apply to every single attorney in the market. So just because I say attorneys are great doesn't mean you should go talk to every single attorney. You're still gonna wanna qualify these businesses before you actually go in and talk to them. But on average, they do make a lot more per customer than any other business out there. Attorneys are also very understanding with the fact that they know how important marketing is, and especially online marketing in today's industry and business. So they are very familiar with digital marketing and how these campaigns work and are set up. They need someone like you. All you have to do and one of the easiest ways to find customers is literally just to go on Google and type in attorneys and find the guys who are paying on ads. If you can find a lawyer or an attorney that isn't having a great result or isn't getting the ROI that they should be getting from their ad campaigns, that's going to be an easy customer for you to pick up. So I definitely recommend looking at attorneys and their ad budgets and campaigns are usually pretty straightforward and easy to manage. So how can you market for a legal service, a lot of them definitely most of them should be focusing on two main components, that's SEO and PPC, to drive a bunch of the traffic to their site. From there, you just need a basic remarketing campaign and email sequence that'll go out to those customers, and you can pretty much run any type of attorney business with those three or three to four strategies. Now, you can incorporate several other things. I'm not saying that's all it takes to make it work, but if you can get that little sequence of ads and campaigns down, you can pretty much run any attorney's office. So number four is going to be salons. These are things like hair salons, nail salons, boutiques, and these are great businesses because they make a ton of money on their products and services. I mean, think about it. You women are crazy. You go out and you spend like $300 on a haircut. Kill me if I ever have to do that. But they make a ton of money doing it. So this is definitely an industry that's worth looking into. So how can you market a salon? Well, a great way to do that is obviously going to be Facebook and Instagram, especially if it's a salon that targets mostly women. Um, and that's all they really target, Instagram is gonna be a great way to remarket to those people who are interested in using salon style services. Not only that, but PPC and local SEO campaigns are also going to be super important for these types of businesses because they need to show up in search engine results. But guys, as far as salons are concerned, they're definitely a niche that I recommend looking into, especially if you're newer to the industry because they are a little bit easier to manage their online campaigns compared to some of the other more complex industries. So quick question, what niche do you think will be the most popular in the next three years? Years. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We would love to see your thoughts. And the fifth niche we're going to talk about in this video, and then again, you can go check out the rest in the blog, is going to be the e-commerce industry. So these are things like online stores or e-stores, web shops, apps, things like that are really, really great and obviously profitable industries. Why is this a profitable type of niche? Well, again, if you look at the business itself, e-commerce style businesses usually don't have high overhead, meaning they don't require an office space to run. That allows them to have a much higher profit 
profit margin, meaning they can put more money into their advertising budgets. Also, e-commerce businesses can usually sell just about anywhere in the world as long as shipping isn't a factor. This means that they have the opportunity to sell to way more customers than a local style business, which doesn't limit their business from growth as much. So with e-commerce style businesses, the types of content marketing campaigns that are really, really important here are usually things like number one, content marketing does really, really great. It's going to help you show up in search engine results, and it's going to provide valuable information to potential customers, which obviously is going to entice them to buy. Another style of campaign that you should be running is definitely on Facebook and Instagram, some kind of remarketing campaign to people who are visiting important product pages, sales pages, checkout pages, adding things to cart are going to be crucial in making sure that that business is able to stay as profitable as possible. So if you're looking for an industry or niche that you want to get into and that doesn't have really geographical boundaries, then this is going to be an industry that's great for you. But guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the five niches that we covered. Again, if you want to see our entire list of industries or niches to look at, then make sure to visit our blog, which is in the description right below this video. Also, since you stayed till the end of today's video, I'm going to give you access to our free social media marketing agency course. All you have to do again is to go down in the description. It'll be towards the top. You can click that and get signed up and get started today. But like I said, that is it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Thanks, guys. Ready to start living the six-figure, work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.